What is going on fam? Upstate Blake here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. And today, well, I don't really know what we're going to do because it's raining. I'm just kidding fam. You guys know me better than that by now. We always got something going on, something to do or something we're scheming and cooking up on this channel. Got the boost in the trailer. I'm a lazy guy. Didn't feel like strapping it down. So I just put the parking brake on and freaking sent it, bud. Bringing the boost up for a well-needed bath. Uh, we've had a crazy good two weeks here. Um, got about between the a couple of sleds, we got about 500 miles on so far and enough content to last a while. So I don't want to worry you guys from the beginning intro of the weather being terrible. But on one positive of the snow being melted, guys, I can back into the driveway with ease right now because I can see the borders and all different types of stuff. Ah, shut up. Stop yelling at me. Not bad. Got it in there at least. Boost didn't flip over, so I must have gone perfect speed. No. All the dang videos you gotta watch Pam, and it's the one of me getting into the freaking accident. This is a uh, cranberry juice. It's NA naturally aspirated. Um, we're gonna wash this sled up and then get into the fun stuff. Clean sled is a happy sled. I don't regret a thing choosing the spec and color that I did, but my God, is this a hard color to keep clean. I think part of the reason is because it's not one color, it's like 10. This is the McWheelies, okay? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, my skis are up. Next up on the chopping block, what's been going on with the triple since the last video and the thing was over rubbing to the moon? I'll show you. Boom. And boom. Had to wait for a couple of those packages to clear customs because they did come from Canada, or at least one of them did. But either way, uh, that Comet forearm with the AN tweaks to it, it was just making my head spin. So we got that clutch off, put the stock primary back on, and had to take it for one last spin before I get this thing set up perfectly. Getting the clutch off and start playing with the other uh, three banger. Got my nice new Dalton weights for this thing. Gonna plug them in. the new clutch weights in gotta go test it out now but i don't think we're gonna get to that tonight most likely tomorrow get the cameras hooked up on this bad boy quick and uh see if the lake's good enough only one way to find out It is Sunday after this weekend, guys. Have been nonstop wrenching on this thing rather than waste 10 minutes of this video kind of showing and, you know, testing and tuning and figure out how to expedite it. But uh, I've said this before, supposedly um, what they figured out in the dyno is the tack reads over 200, what the engine's actually spinning at. But um, what I kind of been doing, I just kept throwing weight at the primary clutch and the thing was still spiking right to 9,000. The, the primary is getting hot, so it's slipping the belt like crazy. This isn't just a throw weight at it solution. So what I did was take both the primary and the secondary off. Our good buddy Jason at D&D &D is actually here today. Um, they, him and the pops have been working on the race sled and the other in the shop side. 
but um, I'm going to be sending these home with him today. He's going to get these things dialed in. We're thinking that we're going to start changing some helixes in the secondary and uh, make some tweaks there, as well as get this thing shimmed and set up uh, properly for the new excess wider belt we're going to be running. You guys like that? Zerte. But I'm going to leave this to the professionals, guys. He assures me that this thing should be done by this weekend, so I'm going to be able to go grab these clutches, throw them on, and hopefully be able to send it down the lake for Upstate Zach's birthday at least. I can make fine tweaks from there, but I just don't have any helixes or anything that you know I want to start trying with this. Just need to get this thing right to be able to go down the lake and not worry about it. So this is where we're going to put the, uh, the pin in the triple four now and uh, definitely see what this thing, if we can get this thing dialed in right for next weekend. So stay tuned on this front. Hey, there's the wig. I haven't worn it once in a video so far this year. It has been absolutely impossible to get a game plan going for this winter so far due to the weather and other unforeseen circumstances going on. But assuming all goes well, temps look good. Everything looks good on that front. Our plan this weekend is to finally get out in the lakes and have a great lake day. It is Upstate Zach's birthday, so hopefully we're going to be doing some stuff for that. I got the call today that the Hooper clutch is already done from Jason, as well as the Sidewinder rails finally shipped in for the longer track. I know I've not shown much about this whole Sidewinder deal yet, guys. It's been an absolutely crazy build, and the reason for that is because, frankly, we haven't had the parts and it hasn't been ready yet. So, again, if all goes according to plan, hopefully we'll get a camera on this thing, go really freaking fast, and show you what some speed's all about. Don't need to keep beating this dead horse into the ground here, guys. I know most of the nation right now is struggling for snow. Us winter lovers are just not off to a good year right now. We can always default on what we always say. Next year will be a better year. At least we have some time this season um, for winter to still turn around here. So like I did say at the beginning of this video, the last couple of weeks, and when I say couple, I mean two. And when I say two, I mean a couple of days. Have been really freaking awesome riding. Play gripping. The RPM exhaust, tuned, boost, 2-3, jackshaft edition. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jackshaft gave us his boost, Magoose, to go try, so uh, let's uh, scream it to the mountaintops. Look, at, who parks like that right in front of you? Like, should I just wheelie right over that thing? I don't know what that is. put one cool riding clip in this speech right but uh that was me trying out my good buddy jay saf's tune boost assault that he's got going on as you guys know i have a stock boost bone stock haven't even touched it very impressed with it you guys saw the lake conditions uh, a lot of snow and a lot of slush underneath so i really wasn't able to top it out in a straight line without just wheeling all over the place but the one thing i will say that i noticed right out of the gate is it is just absolutely nasty the throttle response is instantaneous it's always right there and it just sounds incredible. To each their own with uh, exhaust and noise. And if some people like quiet sleds and some people like loud personally, I love them to scream. I also don't condone or endorse running straight pipes on the trails, guys. We need to keep these trails alive, not get them shut down due to nonsense. But uh, out in the lakes, oh my God, does that thing sound awesome. Thank you, buddy, for letting me get the camera on your sled and take it for a rip. Speaking of cameras. 
Oh, would you look at this, guys? It's got snow in the name. The Wheelie Show must go on. Super stoked to be bringing this news to the channel, guys. I am Insta360 Camera's newest affiliate. Going to be getting my own Upstate Blake link to give you guys, you know, free accessories, discounts, stuff like that. Insta360 does special promotions and discounts all year round, so you got to get them while they're hot. They're, they tend to be limited availability for a certain amount of time, but as soon as they drop them, I'll be able to provide them to you guys. If you use my link at checkout, guys, it will always have some type of free accessories or discounts associated with it. From here on out, I will always be posting some type of link in my videos, but the very first one on the description of this video will be for the Insta360 1X3. If you guys want to shoot you know, snowmobiling content exactly like I do, this is the exact camera that I use. Check that link out below. There's definitely going to be more to come. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to Instagram or Facebook DM me. Um, I can definitely send you an affiliate link through there. Questions, comments, concerns, feel free to hit me up. Um, even if you already have a camera and you need questions on how to use it, I'll definitely do the best I can to help you out and point you in the right direction. We've been an affiliate now for a couple of days, hopefully many more to come. Um, if you use my link, it definitely helps out the channel and I appreciate the heck out of you guys who have already used it. That is all I got for you guys tonight, though. Super stoked to be bringing Insta360 to the channel officially. Stay on the lookout for the next video, guys. Hopefully, it will be uh, us out on the lake and not diving into some of that content I saved. If I did, it means the forecast sucked and changes. Pray for snow! As always, though, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We will see you next time. Woo!